Okay, here we go. Right, so there's gonna be some enshrouded, but first, I got a notification yesterday on the enshrouded Discord about a roadmap. Now, I clicked on the shorts video and it was just a teaser that it was going to come out soon. So, that's what put me in the mindset of making the video that you may have seen yesterday. And also the stream yesterday where I just rambled on about the things that I wanted in the game. And, uh, but, but, but yeah, early today I saw that there's an actual roadmap. So we're gonna check it out. Right, okay, so here we have it. Enshrouded Early Access Roadmap 2024. Flameborn, your feedback helps us make Enshrouded better. Here's a look at our roadmap for the next few updates based on your suggestions. Now there isn't any dates here. Just a glimpse of all the major future coming later this year. It, it says this year, so I would presume it is this year, possibly. Right, this is getting bigger and better, and for all the thanks you from the bottom of our hearts, thank you for taking part in our early access. Okay, so fantastic. Right, so I've taken a quick look on this. So, but I think we are going to go through it together. I'm going to give a little bit of my opinion, because I have opinions. Right. And also after this, I think that we're going to jump in the game and I'm going to ramble on of what else I want to be implemented in the game. Right. Okay, so let's start off with this. Right. Okay. So, Hollow Hall Hall's Dungeon. I'm not sure what they mean. I mean, a dungeon. That's good. This picture I'm, looks like a dungeon. No, could they mean the doors? As in the doors that you can't really open, except for that one door I did open but it was just a picnic inside. Oh, it could be something. Now, let's see, there's the Steam Deck support. Fancy, fancy. Yes, uh, Linux all the way. And then performance improvements, stonks. That, no, that could be good. That p could be very good, maybe. Now, I don't really have any per performance issues <laughs> um, when it comes to the game, but then again, I have quite a beast of a computer. Yeah, smoother high FPS gameplay, sure. I mean, yeah. Now, I think the game runs fine. Like, totally fine. I mean, I don't have any problems with it. Even I tested it on my wife's computer, and that's that's the hand-me-down part. So, yeah. Better stacks and splitting. Now, this is good. Yeah, this is very good, because that's uh, kind of a pain if you want to have the exact stack. Now, I hopefully they add, uh, they add the way that you can maybe, like, shift-click to put in one, control, left click in order to put in five, ten, something, shift, right click in order to put half of it in, I don't know, who knows, but yeah, that's good, that's good. Works up craft from magic chests, now this is something, I can't really see stuff, oh yeah, look at that, add and add, what the hell does that say? Yeah, so add one, add multiple maybe, add stacks, who knows, but yeah, that's fantastic, yes, that works. Improved loot UI. Uh, I don't really have a problem with the loot UI, but it, um, yeah, well, improvements, improvements. Location improvements, no, I talked about this yesterday, that I wanted a filter, so this is probably what I mean. Multiple NPC instances, I presume this is for, that you can have multiple NPCs in different bases, because now, if you use the summoning staff, they remove the NPCs from the other base. Resignable glider shortcut, you say? Why would you want it on anything other than space, huh? I mean, sure. Ergonomics, I mean, yeah, options. Yeah, give us the option. That's fantastic. Sitting on furniture. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Neat. Neat, neat. Improved post-processing, eh? Um, sure. I mean, loading and stuff. New building materials. Um, okay, let's see. Let's get close. I'm not sure. It looks like maybe what's inside of the dungeons? Who knows? Potted plants, <laughs> right, then you don't have to make it trees and plants from the uh, flower soil, okay, that's good. Round doors and windows, yeah, yeah, that, uh, for the uh, Hobbit in Inficionados, yes. More trees to grow, I think the game already has a lot of trees. Now one thing I would want is the ability to use any kind of tree to use a regular wood to make charcoal to fire up the kiln and it, yeah maybe maybe oh, okay so let's let's continue replayable world quests okay maybe this is for multiplayer probably i mean i'm not gonna complain better quest sorting 
Mm, sure. Server gameplay settings. Yeah, I, well, I don't really play on the server, but yeah, that's good. Server user rights. Edit world. Uh, I don't know. Whitelist and blacklists, maybe? Musical instruments. Really? Huh. Could this be a new class? No, it would be fun if you got, let's say, a lute. A flute. Maybe some sort of peony. And you can actually play the music on the keyboard. That would be fun. Maybe a bard class. Edible uh, signs. Editable signs. Yes, that's that's something that, uh, that that's gonna help a lot. Hmm. Vanity system. Transmog. I really hope it's transmog. I do hope that this is cosmetics and transmogification. I mean, I have nerfed my main character just in order to look better. So that would be good. I mean, the best armor looks good, but um, again, I think it looks looks too good. So, okay, but, yeah, yeah, that, that's nice. I hope it's not. Now it can't be like uh, cosmetic purchasable items. I hope not. Town folk NPCs. More NPCs. Ooh, hang on. Could this be? Maybe. Maybe just maybe. Could this be what I asked for in the last video? Like. I'm not gonna say exactly slaves, but I want something that makes my workstations faster, so maybe. Or maybe just people in town, who knows. Townfolk pets. I mean, you can sort of tame stuff already with the Beastmaster talent, but a pet, yeah, that would be fun. Animal farming, right. Chickens, eggs, chicken and eggs, yes. Enemy patrols, huh? could be fun. No, I mean, it would be like the zombies at night. Because they just spawn a little bit here and there, but if they move around, I mean, that could be something. Would make the world a little bit more exciting. Now, could they walk into the base? That is the issue, because this guy, I mean, that's just a crossbow, but some of them have bombs. Now, I don't want them to destroy my base. I managed to do that on my own. Alright, the weather system. Right, the weather system. Yeah, I mean, hmm... And it might be a little bit of an unpopular opinion, but I really enjoy that there's no weather. Now, obviously, they should add it um, in the future, but right now I enjoy having the same weather. Now, a little bit of rain, some storm, I mean, if you have the option to turn it off, maybe, for building and such. Nameable map locations, yeah, that's that's good, then you don't have to remember all of the icons and colors. Nameable bases, sure. No, this would be very good for multiplayer. Single play I mean, sure, for single player too. Portals to other servers? What? Portals to other servers? Hmm. How would they... What if it's a full server? How does that work? Eh, I guess I guess we will see. I mean, it would be fun to create a big community. Mountain biome? Yeah. I mean, I'm very close to that one. And that, that could be fun. Let's see. Multiplayer pings? Uh, sure. Yeah. Name tombstones. Yeah, that's definitely for multiplayer. Let's see. New enemies and bosses. Yeah, that's fine. This is... Yeah, that's just the ghosts. Uh, okay, yeah, sure, sure. Maybe in the dungeon? Who knows? Fixes and polishing. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, so what do we have? Yeah, that's just a glimpse what's to come. Sharing and visiting of bases. I mean, that's basically what they do on Discord. But if you have the option to just jump into another world in-game... Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, something. Create and share gameplay experiences. Create and share gameplay experiences? I mean, that's what YouTube and Twitch is for. Huh? I'm, I'm not sure what this is, but sure. World events, you say? Hmm. Like big bosses and such. Ooh, water, right. Yeah, water. Quite some time ago, I did mention that it would be fun to have water in the farm, a sort of irrigation system, but I don't want the farming to be reliant on water. Like, I still want to farm with just, like, farm soil hell just down on the grass. But if this added some sort of speed buff to the farming, that would be fun. And if they did, in fact... Now, how would this work? It is a voxel-based game, as in blocks. I mean, it's maybe a little bit more uh, advanced than that. But let's say it works like Minecraft. You put down a block and you get infinite water for a set amount. That could be something. Or if it worked like, let's say, Terraria. You place down water and it just spills everywhere. Maybe you could fill up the shrouded area. Now, I would like an ocean. It also flows, you say. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, that, that's gonna be fun to see. More biomes? Yeah, yeah we, we need that. Instant dungeons. Hang on. 
instant dungeons. That's dungeons. I don't think I... Yeah? So a hollow holes dungeon and instance dungeons. Hmm. Well, that could be something. That could, in fact, be something. Now, I don't really enjoy content that is locked behind a loading screen, but maybe. I mean, for multiplayer, it could be something. Again, in like in Minecraft, if you want to defeat the Ender Dragon, you have to go to the end. And that is technically instanced content. But we will see, right? Okay, so I think that's about everything. I don't think I missed anything. At least not obvious. Okay, so this looks good. It doesn't say when. Just say 2024. That is current year. So hopefully we will see something soon. Now I have some notes that I'm gonna ramble on about uh, a little bit later. Let's get back to, back to business. Let's get back to the main world. And then I'm gonna ramble on a little bit about stuff that I want in the game. Okay, but while we do that, I do want more of the black powder. I mean, this is gonna take some time. I have a few nitrate, okay, so I'm gonna just let that roll for a bit. We have a roadmap. It didn't say exactly when stuff is gonna be added. But I am hopeful. Like instant dungeons, we do have the places like, I can't really teleport to that area, but like these things. I mean, that's just a gate in order to get into that one, but I've seen multiples of those. I think there's one like right here as well. This is a door. No, I have managed to open one of these doors with bombs and such. So I could probably do that for the rest of them. So could this maybe be one of those dungeons? Where would it lead? Underneath the mountain? Perhaps. Perhaps, perhaps. Now, one thing that I do want in the game, I said it in the last video. No, hang on a minute. No, no not heal fireball and sploosh. Yes. I said it in the last video. I do want some sort of hints for the pages that I'm missing. Now, I'm not sure. I mean, I might just be stupid. There's a chance of me being stupid, but like this. I miss the last page on this thing, and I miss this page on this thing. It doesn't really say. I, I'm not sure. I mean, there should be some hints here. Doesn't have to be like exact locations, but yeah, like a tiny bit of a hint. I'm just gonna explore a little bit while I think about stuff that I want to improve. Like, I mean, they already said that they wanted to do something with the map, like filters, that would be good. And yeah, also that craft people. Now, they said that they wanted to add townsfolk. Does that mean NPCs in friendly towns? or more work people because i do want to increase the productivity of the workstations so the skill tree i mean what i want fixed in the skill tree is this isn't endurance this is this is dexterity i want them to fix that mainly stuff for survival and running and jumping so this should be endurance and not dexterity uh, who knows? Other than that, I don't really have any complaints when it comes to the skill tree. It does take time, so I'm not gonna hold them to that to complete everything on the roadmap, because that seems like a lot. Now, they did, did say, I believe I read that also on their Discord, that they wanted to add water blocks once they sold 4 million copies. I know they sold over a million, uh, but again, now they've said it, so now they should do it. Now, I haven't really looked that much into Keen Games. I'm not sure how big of a team they are. But I mean, this game is, like, for early access, it's amazing. How would they implement water? Like, because the thing about this place, I mean, there, this red stuff, that is technically water. But, I mean, the bridge is all the way up there. So, would water be all the way up? Ah, who knows? Who knows, who knows? I mean, Ranger is very fun. You do a lot of damage. You're a tiny bit of a glass cannon. Mage is very OP. Loads of damage, but you die in one hit. So that's something, but the melee build. I mean, you do less damage, but you're basically invincible. Yeah. Now, I do want something to be done with two-handers. I don't have a two-hander on me. But yeah, great swords. Oh, they should add great swords. Hell, and dual wielding. I said that in my last video. Yeah, dual wielding. I like, I have this thing. This is a very cool looking weapon. But with two of them. I like maybe whirlwind. Ooh, whirlwind with two, two handers. Oh, that would be something. Because I think that um, melee combat is a little bit... Um, not, not like too much. It's somewhat stale. I mean, you have three attacks. Four if you include this one. Ah, then again, if I do a double jump and then... Yeah, fine. I'm... 
Okay, maybe I'm just being a little bit greedy. Tool-based mining. Right, right. In one of my earlier videos, I commented on the community post that people wanted, like, uh, skill-based mining. And you have to grind, sort of like in Valheim. The more you, the more you mine, the higher the mining level gets. Now, I'm not really for that system. I mean, I appreciate the grind, and it would be fun to continuously level up in whatever you do. But I think it would be a lot easier and fun for it just to be tool-based. Again, I'm not gonna tell them what to do, I just want the mining to get better. I mean, the mining is decent, you get a lot of stuff, but again, you could get more stuff. Put the craft people to work, or make them faster. I mean, that's maybe... Yeah, faster workstations. That is maybe what they mean with townsfolk, perhaps. I mean, it's not like, and I need four for every boom barrel. Let's see, okay, so where did we have it? Explosive barrel, yeah, I need four for each one. So I would like some way to make this faster. That is def uh, definitely on the top of the list. Again, I could get five of these things and just produce more at the same time. So, again, it's just about being a little bit lazy. Farming helped by irrigation, yeah. Like, this farm, right here. This is like the, um, the the best soil for growing stuff. I'm not sure if there's a difference, but let's say I did want to put water in here. Now, if it worked like Minecraft, I would place a water block here, it would irrigate, like, a certain amount of area, and then stuff could grow there. Now... If it is totally reliant on water, uh, that would be maybe a little bit of pain. And also, how would you get water? Would you get water from, like, this thing? Here I get water, and you can get a lot of water. Yeah, and then, I mean, this is... It, it is in a canteen. Uh, who knows, who knows? Yeah, I definitely think that water should help with farming. It shouldn't be totally reliant on it. Uh, just my opinion. And then again, if they add weather, like rain, I'm not totally set on the subject. Oh, right. <laughs> the loot exploitations, I mean, the whole <laughs> uh, the whole reasoning behind my speedruns and <laughs> a lot of my content. Even though I truly love this system, it is fun. It kind of negates the purpose of crafting your own armor. Since I have proven that you can just from level 1 go to this place, create down a flame altar, get over here, get stuff, log in and out and get the best armor. Yeah, I mean, why would you want to craft your own armor? I mean, it looks good. And at the start of the game I did craft armor, but I didn't craft a lot of it. I mean, I basically used the copper armor adventure set. I did create this armor. Now this is level 13 stuff till I got the gloom set and that was also from chests so I didn't really have a reason to create anything because this is level 23 and then so is the best armor here and yeah, this is also level 23 but this armor is level 25 now if it, they added some sort of armor to the dungeons yeah a little bit of grind I mean I'm not too much against of the grind I don't really like you know gathering materials that much unless they made it stupidly easy not too easy but a little bit easier uh, yeah I mean it would be fun to go into dungeons and farm for loot because the system of just logging in and logging out to get the best armor I mean it's it's fun you get the dopamine hits from loot boxes but it's not really I would say deserved you just have to get to the latest area and then you know log in and out Oh, right, and uh, the other thing, I did mention it in the video of yesterday, designated loot. Now, that would be something. Yeah. Right now, I am exploring every nook and cranny of the map just to find uh, find the books and notes and everything, and that is, I mean, it, it it is reason to explore, but it would be way more fun to just go into a place, a random place, like maybe, like, this place. Maybe it is a hidden note somewhere that mentions this type of tree and tree and under this tree it is sh like loot. A fantastic ring that lets you mine faster or, 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 or just something. Like right here, there should be something. Perhaps. Just to encourage more exploration. A little bit of random exploration guided by notes. Like if you did find a note, more, like more puzzle stuff. I do remember there was a puzzle in Pikeman's Reach. No? Yeah? Where's Pikeman's Reach? Where am I? 
Oh no, they're totally the wrong direction. Yeah, and I was a little bit disappointed with the puzzle because you just get a marker on the map. Ah, I guess that is uh, sort of nice. I'm not going to complain too much. But yeah, I want more puzzles. A little bit more rewarding puzzles. A lot of the buildings are exactly the same. Not a lot. I mean, I have thoroughly enjoyed exploring in this game. But a lot of like the tombs and some of the houses are very similar. So it's not like you go into one of those and you're surprised to like, oh, there's a hidden way here, a hidden way there. I mean, sometimes. Uh, maybe I'm being a little bit too critical because, uh, like, at least the spires, they're, they're different. Okay, I am going to get distracted. Um, yeah, I, I have a tendency to get distracted when I see something. Oh, right. Yeah, this is this place. Chickens. Oats of chickens. I wonder how soon they would add, add the mountain biome. But yeah, if they add... Like the vanity system, if that is transmog, that would be something. Because I want this armor. Lion? Okay, the lion fell down. I want this armor, but I'm not too big of a fan of the stats of the armor. Like, this is just health. I mean, one damage, that's fine. And the sprint speed, that is also very fine. But the legendary armor does have a lot better stats. And it would encourage people to, you know, craft a lot more armor just to look better. So, transmog sh should definitely be added to the game, and it looks like maybe, maybe, just maybe, they're thinking of adding that. Alright, oh, more boss bosses in the shroud. Yeah, I did mention this in one of my videos, one of my earlier videos, when I was trying to look for... Uh, no, it was when I was forming the bosses in order to make the trophies, right? Because I think that I saw in a trailer like the Fellbyburn, just randomly in the Shroud. Then again, it could be at Pikeman, Pikeman's Reach. But yeah, a little bit more dangerous to the Shroud would be good, most definitely. Because now, I mean, the Shroud isn't really that dangerous. Like right here, there could be stuff. No, hang on a minute. Oh, well, oh well, no, hang on, I just discovered something. Oh, well, look at that, look at that. Okay, uh, Eternal Fire. Okay, let's dig. Oh, well, looky here, looky here. Okay. Stuff is coming. Oh, right. Uh, okay, what is in this chest? Shocking ice one. Ow! Okay, get out of here. Ah, there we go. A note. Fantastic, fantastic. Black mold behind a drywall. I'm just gonna see. Is there a quest? Perhaps. Shroud elixir and elixir veil. Quest updated. Okay, so not a new quest. A rotten core. Huh. Who knows? Something from below. Quest completed or rotten core? What? Quest completed? I didn't have a quest. Oh, maybe because I have looted whatever this is. Okay, something from below has awoken an evil, a sickness, corruption from within. Between a shaking hands and loosened the cobblestone from the dry basement wall, revealing a festering mold, the source of the rot. Below all this time, I buried it under the rubble and ash, but it shan't suffice. The rotting root lies too deep to dig out. Okay, that's, that's something. What is that sound? Oh, okay, that's a mushroom down there. So they make sounds. That's, that's fine. Why I have not discovered this place before, I, it astonishes me. Yeah, okay, that's something. Okay, where was I? Was I making a point? More buses in the shroud. And make the more uh, shroud more dangerous? Yeah, probably. Like, I would s want to see some big scary things in the shroud. I mean, the birds are scary. Now, hang on, talking about the birds. Mounts. Yeah, that was also one of the community posts what people wanted. Oh, it would be fun to tame a bird and just fly everywhere. Yes. Yeah, they should make the shroud a little bit more intimidating. It was at first, I must admit. I mean, again, this is not a review of the game and it's not even like impressions. It's just like something that I would want. Because coming down to the shroud now, I am max level. I have nerfed myself just to look better. And also I have kind of yeah, like spread my skill tree out in every direction, uh, except for Archer. Uh, so I do take a lot more damage, but um, no, I, I think the Shroud should be a little bit more scary and challenging. Not just time-based, like you have to get and get out of there. Uh, yeah, because I have rushed a lot through the Shroud, which is probably one of the reasons why I keep discovering stuff down there. Let's see, I have just wrote down building is amazing, works will be so pretty, but... Oh, right, first-person camera while building. Yeah, now that should definitely be something. Because if you want to do details, uh, and I don't think you can change the, like, orientation of the camera. Because, okay, hang on, I'm just gonna sleep real fast. Actually, 
I don't have to sleep, do I? I just log in and out. <laughs> That's faster than sleeping. Come on. Any day now. Post processing. There we go. Yeah, because building like in tiny areas, let's say I wanted to build something fancy like right there. I go into this thing. I mean, it's not impossible, but some angles are a little bit weird and you can press, is it said? Yeah, you can scroll out and in, but like a little bit of first person to do some finer details that could definitely be something. Also, I don't think I made a comment or a note of it, but yeah, free cams. I have made a lot of, you know, super fast build modes and compilations of me building all of this, but I do it in fast forward and that doesn't really look good from this perspective, because in the trailers for the game, I mean, building is just a rose from nowhere. Now I want to plant a camera right here. Now I could just get another camera and this game is worth another buy and I am I will eventually buy it for my wife so yeah I could just buy another one but it would be fun to have a little bit of free cam action I think that is basically what I wanted to improve about the game so I guess I'll just explore a little bit more now constitution and intelligence eh huh maybe actually let's uh, see how does this work meat wrap what huh? didn't I yeah, now my constitution is at 16, but my health bar didn't increase. Huh, that's a little bit weird. Huh. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Oh, yeah, uh, one more thing. I'm just gonna put it in a single video. I did mention it last time, but uh, these rings. Yeah, I tested them out, out and apparently they don't work. At least I can't see if they work. So I should probably fix them. But yeah, wood shopping uh, rings, that's good. Now they should also add some for mining, possibly. Yeah, and maybe mining armor. That could be also something. Like put down uh, like a mining helmet and all that stuff and then you could mine for more resources and maybe a little bit faster. Maybe a tiny bit. Tiny little bit. And great swords. Add great swords. I want great swords, big swords. Big swords go schmack. Okay, well, we're gonna continue to explore some stuff. Now, I do believe that I have explored pretty much everything that I wanted in Pikeman's Reach. But you never know. Like, what the hell is this? <laughs> what? New lore, Revelwood? Okay. Um, um, okay. That was just new lore? Oh, hang on a minute, that's, uh, that's suspicious. Oh, yeah, I did also mention, why is this thing here restore time, but it is not in the shroud? A little bit too, a little bit strange. Maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Okay, so I did find a sword. Why did I find a sword here? Why is there a sword here? These are regular books. Is there a note? Ah, there we go. Oh, okay, so here we go. New Lord, Revelwood. Okay, that's the thing that I got upstairs. Uh, I think we'll need the space for storing the elixir, the barrels leak and the film started to form in the cellar grounds. It's moist and humid, going into the caverns below, the marketplace makes one dizzy. Also, I let Renny go, sneaky rat was slapping out the spilled elixir from the floor, disgraceful. I mean, it didn't really give me that much of a... I mean, maybe it uh, would have given me a hint to where the sword was located. Could there be something here? Well, of course there is something here. Oh, do you see? What do you see? Would you look? Would you look at that? Okay, what do we have here? Does one enjoy the romance of storm and day? New lore, rebel wood, lower's quarrel, lower's quarrel. Okay, not a quest. Okay, so just a book. Roderick was a fool and it and has expo uh, exposed our affair. Florian, my simple-minded husband, must die. So Roderick, Roderick, elders, elders girls. No, Elden Ring. And now I can finally be at peace. I responded to the advert he obviously put in. Pike weekly, <laughs> okay, and now he plans to kill me. We'll meet him at the chamber with a dagger in my bodice. What is bodice? Meet him in my chamber, okay, so is he dead somewhere? There's lots of lore in the game, that, that it is, but it doesn't always make sense. Now when it comes to the difficulty setting of the game, now I did watch the review from Lazy Peon, now he described the game as incredibly easy, then again, he played as a mage, so yeah, as a mage it is easy. You're a glass cannon, but yeah, you, you one-shot everything. So, I don't think they should add a difficult slider, because that would just mean most likely more HP for the enemies and more damage uh, that you take. I think the game is just, just the right amount of difficult. Not too hard, not too easy. I mean, sometimes it's too easy. 
Uh, it's a little bit assassin creedy if I would have a check mark in front of everything here, but uh, yeah. And also, what does these golden squares do? I mean, I dash. Again, a little bit. Not too much information about that. Now it sounds like I'm just complaining about the game. Now I got almost 200 hours of the game. Of course I enjoy it, but uh, yeah, no, I want this game to succeed so that I can play it forever. But now we're down in the catacombs again. Where did he come from? Yeah, they should definitely do. What? Now hang on a minute. I have not seen this before. So they just get pooped out of these things. Huh. And if I destroy it. Will they continue to spawn? Okay, so I haven't seen that. So the zombies are... Now, I thought that the humans that once lived here were produced by the... Like, or turned into zombies by the shroud, but apparently the shroud is... The shroud is making them? Uh, oh, okay. Sure. I'm not gonna pretend that I understand the lore. Like, these buildings, yeah, they're a little bit copy-pasty. I mean, of course it's gonna take ages if they wanted to make every building totally different, so... No, 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 no. I think that's a little bit too much to ask for. That every building should be a little bit different. Because, I mean, it's not in real life. Why should it be in a video game? Video game. Yes. Finish your sentences, alright. More backpack space? Could that be something? I mean, I do have the best backpack. Like, they could increase the stack sizes of some of these things. Like, just five potions. I mean, that's a little bit low. I think, just for one stack. Should be, like, 20. Yeah, but what is this? Can I mine this? Yeah, I also wanted mud. What? What? Huh? What? So this is extremely tough dirt. And it's slippery. Ooh, right. One more thing. Area loot. AOE looting. Yes, that, that, that would be something. Yeah, because mud. Mud would be something. Because if I dig mud, I get dirt. And yeah, 100% I want to just press one button and deposit all of my stuff. Because, and yeah, the stacking size, like 24. These things, yeah, that should be higher. 200, probably. Now, even though I'm a little bit against uh, a weather system, it, 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 it depends on how they do it. I do remember back in the old Minecraft days going into service and such, and of course you begged the admins to, yeah, and like, switch off the rain, turn it off, because rain was annoying. Now, what could they add in the mountain biome? I, because I have explored around here. I mean, there are mountains with snow, Pretty much everywhere around here, but I would assume it would be like this area. Like, yeah, I, I mean, I could just see it from here. I mean, there's mountains over there. There's more mountains over there. Now that could be a jungly area, maybe a swamp. Yeah, I mean, what could be a, a good biomes to add? Because with the review from Mr. Lazy Peon, he did mention that he didn't really like how the map was know the levels of all of it I mean it's basically just hills and holes and all that kind of stuff but I mean once you get a legendary glider it's an ease and you don't really want it to be entirely flat because then you can't do that and that is fun that is very fun yeah now hang on how I discovered this thing oh I have not oh achievement Etsy what does it say find all flame shrines in the sanctum of the blah 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 oh I've only played for 142 hours Okay, I just missed two. Find all flame shrines, sanctums, in the springlands, and in Revelwood. Okay, okay. No, 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 now we have another mission. Okay, achievement? No achievement? Where's my achievement? I got experience from discovering this thing. But no achievement, so maybe I miss more? Hang on, open. Ooh, secret. But again, apprentice wand, and just a common one. Uh, I mean, I'm a little bit torn. I mean, it's fun to discover random stuff. And I do enjoy that there's a little bit of randomness to it, because then maybe you get something legendary, maybe you don't. Now, this is a nice looking house. This could probably be worth taking over if you don't want to build that much. I mean, a nice fireplace, loads of, uh, loads of pretty t uh, things. And it's not marked on the map. Huh. Now, what do we have down here? Might as well use one of these. Yeah, that was a little bit too suspicious. Um, okay. Yeah, like, so this thing. I mean, this is hidden between two stuff. Says, come on, give me something or something. Whatever, staff. <laughs> he died on the toilet. On the toilet. Why do pe people keep dying on the toilet? Oh, would you look at that? Still not an achievement? Really? I hadn't been up here. Oh, God. Oh, hang on. Okay, there I discovered. There's the achievement. Okay, so I haven't been here. Really? 
Okay, well, there you go. Oh, more stuff to read. Aha! Let's see, the show that looks here, that looks here. Well, okay, nice new lore. It's the request. It crawls beneath my flesh. New quest! Huh. I feel its teeth in my flesh evermore. The first bite was but a bitter prelude to many more that followed. I fear my time is near, my muscles tighten, my skin stretches. I can see them under the candlelight, eagerly pushing outward. The catacomb has cursed me, for the whole of my ribcage is home to a thousand gnawing bites. Did I get... Uh, uh, hang on. Uh, I did say that I got a quest, but did... Hmm. That catacomb. Huh, okay, so that's a toughie. Is there a catacomb near here? Have we discovered a catacomb? Now, this is Mistberry Catacombs. That's the only catacomb that is close. Ancient Vault. Necropolis? Okay, so that's a toughie. Which catacomb could it be referring to? Ah, there we go. Okay. Achievement? Achievement? No oh, achievement. Really? <laughs> uh, Jesus. I haven't been here? Ah, there you go. And there's the achievement. Air, right. Okay, so now the game is 100%. <laughs> uh, only took me 150 hours. Not bad, not bad. Speedrun. Yes. But, uh, well, I haven't 100%ed the game. I still uh, need a lot of lore. Uh, I do want a tip. I don't want to Google. I have you know, I have the internet. The power of the internet right beneath my, uh, my fingers. But why is this still here? I don't think that I have fixed that yet, have they? I mean, I might as well kill the monkey again doesn't hurt and it's getting dark fast i can't see anything where am i who am i there's the monkey okay turn the last bite a little bit closer and another one for good measure what schmeck here we go okay so he drops just means axe but that doesn't mean anything because i still have huh uh, who knows I mean, that I mean, might just be a bug. But if I go to this obelisk, could there be a piece of paper here? Again, there's a lot more obelisks. I'm not gonna try to use the plural of obelisk anymore. No, 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 that's just a tongue twister. Oh, hang on a minute. Is this the portal? Oh, right. Strange structure. Ah, okay, okay, so this is maybe the portal to the other servers. Interesting, interesting. Now, if it's just to move between worlds, or move between servers, I mean, what is the purpose of that? I mean, it would be fun to, like, visit uh, other people's builds. But again, you could just join their server. Again, if you do want a big community, let's say 32 people, 62 people, 128 people, 264 people, and so on. Then, yeah, maybe. Maybe. But again, you would need it. Yeah, you would need a free space in every server if you want one character to move between them. Hmm. 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 I guess we will see. Now I should also respec back into gathering so that I can at least start doing some work on my village. I'm not a builder. I'm not ever gonna claim that I am a builder, but I like to build. And I make some weird stuff from time to time. I do wonder if my view will improve once they add the mountain biome. Ah, uh, maybe that's all the squishing noise that I hear when I use poison damage. Now it's a little bit weird. Okay, stand still. Yeah, there we go. Now, why do I hear it right in my ears? That's not a lot of potion damage. Get back here. And push. Yes. Now, I think I would remember a bat cave. Maybe. And another thing they could improve is a little bit of the movement. Like, once I'm looting something and I want to go in another direction, it's uh, sometimes a little bit buggy. Hang on. Hidden door. With nothing. Hmm. I mean, I don't mind that. Like having a hidden door and then having nothing behind it, 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 sometimes it's funny. Not twice in a row, I would say, but might as well kill some Wooka. And fireball, and fireball. He didn't die? Oh, that's a tough monkey. Okay, let's see. Now, we did discover some stuff today, and this is still cooking. Okay, ten, so uh, that, well, that means that I can make two. Uh, Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, that's, uh, that's, uh, that takes some time. But yeah, I mean, I did also go through the roadmap, like, gave a little bit of my opinion, so I did find a few stuff, and it is somewhat exciting. Uh, but yeah, it is getting late, and I need to edit a video and all that kind of good stuff, so I think that I'm gonna say, as always, until next time.